Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I created this plan in SP-89. In this video, I'm going to break down the whole process I use for to create this one, such as texturing, mesh and spetty. So first of all, I'm going to hide all the nodes I have created. And I'm, I'll put them up. Press H, then I will hide. Let's start. I'll take a time count for you. By default, it's 25 feet up high. Let's keep the height as 4 feet. Reduce the radius amount. 0 0.5 I'll add some segment here from length I'll add some relative amount And spine I'll add some late amount okay. let's add some material which I have already created <coughs> When you click the mesh, from here you can adjust the material, you can adjust the brightness, contrast. And normal value too. Now I'm going to create the leaves. Click the wrong. Go to add geometry, add leaves. So first of all, I'm taking one. When you go to generation, you can see I have taken absolute one. And I'll change the to interval. So when you put interval, by default, it comes with three leaves. I'll change the position to down, somewhere here, and this count, I'll make it two. It will come only both sides. From orientation tab, I'll get this. I'll scale the size. So for the moment, for each leaf, so we have four vertices. Now I'll add some leaf material here, which I already have. Not this one. 
split D. So when you say like that, you have to go to generation, sync it. So now you can see this list is, is flat. And if you want to do any modification, modification from here, what you have to do is, it was flat, but I have taken some vertices here. So when you click this and go to that cutout mesh and click the edits, then you will have freedom to edit the leaf mesh. So here I have already taken some extra vertices. As much as vertices we take, we can give them uh, that much realistic look. So I'm uploading as high and done. Now, when I try to fold it, I can fold it like this. I'll give some this kind of shape with curl. Little bit twist around. Okay. And now I'll show you how I created the texture. This leaf texture. So here I have downloaded this image from internet and then I cut this. using this tool like this I'm sh showing quickly like somehow Select inverse, delete that. Now, what you have to do is to give the shape. Here, you can see we have some kind of curve here, so we need to fix that. Go to transform, go to wrap, and then keep it good shape as per the reference. Always is better to have the reference. So from that, I have created this leaf. So finally, I have created this one. So this one I'm using in the SPT. So here, <coughs> when you click the leaf and go to material, from here we have uh, freedom to increase the brightness, contrast. And color value, RGB value. We have the opposite map. The same way I have created the opposite too. Like from here, select this. Go to blend mode, blending option, color overlay, okay, and black background. This is my opposite map I have created, and the same way I have created the no normal map. Go to filter 3D and general normal map. Just wait for a while. And here also you can change the value. And you can uh, you can create direct for data text data text and OpenGL both. And I have created another map is a close map. So select the color map, 
then go to this go to brightness little bit dry so this is my gross map for speed t i'm using only three maps here and you can use more as the specular metallic but uh, for the moment i have these four maps i'm using so what this close map does is when you reduce the contrast you can see the difference when you reduce the brightness you can see the difference when you increase the brightness then contrast it is nice close on the leaves so another thing here i want to show you so here you can see you can see from the bottom the texture but when you turn on these two sides so you can see from both sides so always remember turn turn on these two side settings so now our one list is ready so there are two methods i use mostly i use uh, i take individual leaves and create the small small plan and another way we can do is we have this uh, leaves and we can rename it let's duplicate it keep here so here when you select it go to generation and then at frequency okay so we have to increase our value last and first value position now So here you can see all the leaves are the same size so now we can scale it down from here when you scale we just can scale from one side but uh, we have to go here and then put down this value then upper part will be smaller and lower part will remain large So maybe we can duplicate it. Rotate. Change the position. Here I need to randomize all the rotation and the position. So here from rotation tab click here and give some random rotation here also the same random written rotation so we can duplicate this one again and change the position rotate it Use the so this way you can fit this one. So another way I'm showing, I'm going to hide them all. 
so we have this one connect this first one we have created so here we can just duplicate add rotate and add here so one by one we can adjust then we have more freedom for each and uh, for small plan i would like to always use this method scale the size then again duplicate put it up rotate change the position scale scale it down duplicate add rotate position scale it down so now here i have created only bottom leaves so they are little bit darker and little bit yellowish so now on top from this part i want to add some light leaves according to the reference so what i will do is i'll go to from add another new leaves change the position little bit up go to orientation at first uh, interval then change the position down count make it two go to orientation the right value then add material which I already have LU change the position to turn rotate it sync now go to <coughs> edit add some more polygon put high now fold it curl and on it go to material I have already added all this the same way I have created this mesh uh, this texture I have created this texture too uh, using him from this slip I have created that texture Add some glossiness, add some more glossiness. Reduce the size a little bit. Duplicate. rotate change the position scale it down it again
so another thing you can do is you can click on the leaves and press tab button so you will get written to add individual leaves but the thing is when you duplicate this one by default it will go to go back to the same position so that's why i always have this part I can press tab and go to default mode from size here you can reduce a bit then you can duplicate this this method I use only for small plant not for large tree I put it on and scale the size. Okay, we need one more here. Position here. basically how this part is done now when you see it looks like everything on the same level so you have to change it we can just rotate it a little bit and give them some different values this method if you have reference just according to the reference you can move and you can fix it and from here you can give some random rotation Now I'm going to create the flower. First of all, I'll go. Whenever you want to add new material, so you have to take new leaf. Rename it. Petal. Change the position here. Go to orientation tab. Let it up. Okay, I'm going to start from here. The flow. <coughs> from orientation tab. Fix the value. Now we will going to assign the pattern material here. Pattern red. Okay, I don't have this material for the moment. So I'll take that one. I'll add this material. Yes. So here you can see this is very flat. If we want to do any modification on this, we can't do much. So first of all, what you have to do is click here, go to edit, put this dot 
whenever you want to start here then add some polygon to add polygon you can select from here add a more point click here then add point add point input high now you can see this chain what you have to do is you have to sync it sync out so now we have to give some this kind of shape and just orientation then fold it curl it scale down so now we have one petal so we have to increase it. First of all, go to interval. And then increase the count. see we have to create this one go to material a little bit contrast brightness and glue like basically you have to give this shape so how I created this one I have taken this image to Photoshop and cut it out same way I did with the leaves like here this one I cut this all And I created this one, this battle. So from orientation, we had to we have to give the shape. Actually, you always have to follow the reference and give the same shape, exact shape. Now we have to create another part. Okay, we have to give some uh, random value size also. Like here, you can see we have different different size, and for the moment, here we have same size. So go to size scalar, click on this, and give some random size. And random position too, not much, very little. Yeah. Now we have to add this petal. Again, you have to click the drum and add another new leaf. So I rename it as thin petal.
to there. Right value. Position it on this one. Keep the position here. Now we have to assign the material. Yes, this one. So you have to reduce the size. Click here. Sync it. Oh. So now you can see it's very straight. We have to give the volume. We need to fold it, curl it, give some twist amount, and reduce the size. Up the position. And from here, you can control more over the position very smoothly. Now, the same way you have to take more battle. Go to generation. Is this to interval? And the position down. I'm going to take it again. Yeah, we can assign the material. It is the size. Interval. The position down. Need to sink it. From orientation, we have to oh, fold it and get the curl value. Go to generation and get the count. Again, reduce the size. Now we have to clear this part, this part. For that, um, I created mesh in Maya, like here. This is the part I created in Maya. With a very low poly. 
and as much as uh, polygon you use you can you can just give same and I did the UV under here's the UV under and now I will add that mesh to this tongue so first of all we have to go to mesh tab when you click this button you will get that you can take from your PC the mesh you can select the mesh this mesh here what you have to do is you have to click here you have to click here so when you click here you can see but small this is the mesh so by default that uh, this Y has to up if you want the default value you have to Y up now what you have to do is we have taken the mesh now we have to click to the material and now we have this material here this petal material here but we have to click uh, select the material of bud which I have created already in the substance painter so we just normally texture is substance painter and export as uh, any any format so I have uh, exported at Arnold, Arnold format so there I took um, base color normal and uh, roughness and metal value so now click here you get the mesh now click the material now from here you can select here texture whatever the texture you want so I have already taken now click here for the moment leaf texture is uh, this texture is visible so you have to change it you have to click here and change to but a small red that is the material i have taken so this one so now this material we have mesh we have now we have to assign the material to the mesh so we have selected this material but small red and our mesh is but small so click here select the part small mesh now select the tongue trunk tube like this is our base select the trunk tube and take another leaf which will rename as part small change the position on it and now click the material um, okay first of all we'll change to interval position it down increase the count and now assign the material which we have created here with the bar small bar small red so you can see that mesh has come on the leaves like instead of leaves that mesh has come so now we have to arrange it we should reduce the count for the moment to orientation to out value reduce the size position up.
we are taking it is the gum okay i'll keep it one for the moment And whole thing also you can get like here in the Maya you can create whole bud mesh here and then assign the whole mesh there that also better but now I'm just showing individually how I created for this one it or discount duplicate and rotate and give any any position according to the reference Now we have to add on the bar. Add another leaf. Put it down. Go to orientation. Add value. Add the material. So, so the same way I have created here. bud large so that material already here bud large ray that the interval it down the position then scale it down So as much you want you can increase the count outer value change the position Now we will take the flower, click it, take another leaf, that is flower, universe flower, interval.
and what? And this flower mesh I have taken already. Go to master. This flower mesh is here. So we have the material also. Now we have to assign that mesh to this layer. The position on. Reduce the size. Here we need to add some red value. some random rotation value you can have some more frequency here okay. so now you can see flower has to come here also so what you have to do is go to first boundary value and it will go Now, again, duplicate this one. And change the position. Give some uh, rotation, well, random rotation. From orientation tab So that's so you can just adjust according to the reference. You can change the color. Now you can see it's pretty straight. You can add some more later more. And And by duplicating whole thing, we can add some more tree, or else from that we can generate more. But I prefer to keep the first one 
duplicate it and then make chain like here this is my first one which i created this one duplicate okay go to generation now you can add number how many plants you want here you can change the position or else you can just press tab w and move one by one and create your own sin so for that it's like here all the plant has same height so what you have can do is you can select one go to size scalar and add the random size and now by pressing tab select one trunk press the tab and then you can give your desired shape Here I just show, I have shown quickly what I have done there. And you can create your own plan. Thanks for watching.